Alright, so here it is, the age-old question that everyone already knows the answer to. Robert Bowling versus David Vondahar. We got this guy and this guy. If you've ever watched any of my videos before, or if you've played a Call of Duty in the past th three years, you already know the answer. Spoiler alert, it's not this piss chugger. Now I know you may be thinking, is this really fair to make this comparison between the two? Aren't you really just comparing Infinity Ward and Treyarch, the two developers? Well, essentially I kinda am. But these are the community managers. They have a lot of say and a lot of influence into what goes on into their game. So the success or failure of their games has a lot to do with their input. For the sake of time in this video, let's just concentrate on the last three Call of Duties where these two guys were at the helm. We have Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3. We could spend a million dollars and a thousand years explaining what was wrong with Modern Warfare 2. You know, Mo One Man Army, Danger Close, Noob Tubes, Commando, always 100 killstreaks in the air, boosting. It was just a broken ass game. We'll just leave it at that. Broken ass game. It was garbage. It could have been good. They made it garbage. They didn't support it. And then fucking Call of Duty Black Ops comes along and they blow our fucking minds away with freaking post launch support. Something that's alien to Infinity Ward at this point in time. And to give us constant patches and updates and fixing things that we didn't even know were broken yet. It was freaking awesome. Now, when you think of Call of Duty Black Ops, there are probably a few things that come to mind. Number one is probably Ghost. No, not that Ghost. That Ghost is fucking awesome. We're talking about this Ghost. Freaking. Overused, overpowered, piece of shit perk. You can only count with Blackbird, which is, you know, okay, but fuck, it was annoying. Uh, secondly, Nuketown. A lot of people fucking love this map. I don't know why it wasn't that great. Fucking Nuketown. Um, thirdly, probably Second Chance. Yeah. Fuck. This perk was fucking horseshit. I mean, it was way more overpowered than Ghost could ever be. It was just... Shit, this is the most overpowered perk like fucking ever. Imagine what our KDs would have been if the noobs weren't fucking using second chance and blob shot in this every fucking game. Look how many, you know, blackbirds and shotgunners and dogs we could have fucking got if it weren't for these cocksuckers thinking that, you know, this is, you know, the right way to play the game. Oh, it's in the game for a fucking reason. Shut, fuck, shut up, alright? You know, there's a lot of. If, ah, I hate this perk. Everyone does. It's it's crap. It, 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 it almost ruined Black Ops. I mean. Shotgun was the only way to counter it, and those were nerfed to fuck. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 was bad, but Black Ops isn't without its faults. I mean, it's the best Call of Duty that has been made so far, but, you know, Ghost, Second Chance, Connection wasn't great, but shit, it was still fucking good. And Robert Bowling, when, when Infinity War went out to set out to make Modern Warfare 3, they had no excuse not to make an amazing game. Because they saw the faults from Modern Warfare 2 and from Black Ops. And, and, and look what they did. Look what they did. I mean, th some of the problems in Modern Warfare 2 overshadowed uh, some of the other things that made the game bad. Like, uh, the spawns were absolutely terrible. Uh, it's, you know, there were some overpowered guns. I mean, the FAMAS and the recoilless ACR come to mind. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the UMP-45, but these were completely overshadowed by the larger lingering problems. So, when they decided to get rid of those huge, obvious problems that everyone hated on, they just figured, oh, everything would be cool, everything's legit now. No. When you take out the trash, you gotta empty out the entire can, not just the smelly stuff on the top. Robert Bowling lied to us and told us that he fixed our problems. Just flat out lied. It means no one man army, no game ending nuke, yeah. no shotguns of secondaries. Now this one is also true, but look what they did. No shotguns as secondaries, implying that having secondary shotguns was overpowered or unfair or something. So what they did is they took really good overpowered secondaries, made them primaries, and then made them weaker. Where is the sense in this? Obviously, no one in Infinity War decided to slap on a shotgun and test it out before releasing the game. Otherwise, they would have realized how underpowered and useless the shotguns are. Definitely no... Definitely, definitely no commando perk. 
But he, what he forgets to mention, I say forgets in quotation marks, is that there's still panic knifing, which could have been a really easy fix. Simple, easy, nope, not going to do it. Oh, and instead of commando, we're just going to give everyone a ridiculous knife lunge. How about that? How would the crowd have reacted to that, I wonder? No last stand. <laughs> Fuck you, last stand. Who, at this point in the video, does not want to punch this motherfucker square in the jaw right now? I bet no one, if not, get your brain checked or something, because this motherfucker just straight up throws us in a misdirection. He says there's no last stand, there's no second chance perk. But what he forgets to mention to the audience is death streaks are back. We got final stand, which is a hundred times more powerful than second chance. So why did I even bring that up? Second of all, we got martyrdom coming back. It's going to be fucking awesome. Next, we got a brand new one called Dead Man's Hand, which is just like the javelin glitch from Marvel for 2. You guys are just going to love it. It's just, it's so good. It's so fair. It's so balanced. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Robert Bowling. Awesome dialogue with you guys, our fans, and your feedback has helped take what we're doing and make it even better. Ugh, someone shut this guy up. Why does he keep lying to us? Where were the people clamoring in the streets for death streaks, huh? Where were those protesters? Where was that dialogue, Mr. Bowling? Where were you and the Infinity War team talking to people who were like, Yeah, we want death streaks, we want recoilless overpowered weapons, we want really shitty spawns. Where was that dialogue? Because I bet you, you motherfucking cunt, that it didn't exist. It didn't happen. So fuck you. We are giving the players, you guys, more choices and supporting a larger variety of play styles than ever before. Really? This is choice to you? Type 95 or ACR? Because those are the only two guns in the game. At least you'd be led to believe so if you've ever played multiplayer. Because those are the only two guns I ever see anyone use. And those are the only two guns I ever die by. Except the PP90M1 and the Kimbo FMGs were also overpowered as fuck. But if you want to use a shotgun or an M16 or something like that, fucking tough cookies for you. You want to snipe? Guess what? Type 95 and ACR will outsnipe you any day. This is the most balanced multiplayer experience we have ever done. Saying that your game is more balanced than Modern Warfare 2 does uh, not impress me. And you know you made COD 4, right? You, you do remember that? You made COD 4? Because I don't think you do. And this is what we mean. In Modern Warfare 2, there was a huge difference in experience between the expert player and the newcomer. I know what you're thinking. Who the fuck is this guy? But trust me, he works with Robert Bullion and Infinity Ward. I can prove it to you, too. He's about to say something really fucking stupid. For a 40 kill, 5 death kind of guy like Robert Bowling here. See? Fucking told you. It was a ton of fun, right? Kicking ass, taking names. But for the newcomer, he spent a lot of his time getting his ass handed to him by 402's kill streaks every two seconds. So for the experienced guy, Modern Warfare 3 is better, more strategic than ever. And we made the game more fun for the newcomers. Yeah. Okay, first of all, it's pretty funny that they were pretending Robert Bowling was good at the game, right? But no, this is probably the part that pisses me off the most. When they talk about, you know, how terrible it is being a newcomer, you should get your ass handed to you when you are a noob, a newcomer. When I first popped in Modern Warfare 2, I got destroyed. My first score was 2 and 13. I, I, got, I was, you know, I was bad, but how long are you a, a new player? Not very long at all. You, if you played the game for two weeks, you know, you're level 80. You are not a newcomer. Why do why does Infinity War continue to cater their games to noobs? That's what their games are for. These games are for noobs. That's who they make it for. That that that's that's literally what they do. That's why they have death streaks and overpowered and extremely easy to use weapons so they can help out the new people aka Robert trolling over there who can't fucking play the game without a real fucking overpower piece of shit in his hand it's all about refocusing on that gun on gun gameplay that's what balance is all about to us so we've taken that philosophy and we're applying it to the weapons the classes the kill streaks the map layout the speed of movement of the player the perks every element of the game has gotten more balance every weapon in the game has gotten more balance he mentions weapons 
So the weapons, he said, they made balanced. So that's why Type 95 uh, is the fastest firing weapon in the game. Kills in two bullets, has the tightest hip spread, and uh, the ACR has zero recoil. Uh, Kimbo FMGs uh, are better than any shotgun or submachine gun ever created. Uh, map layouts, those are balanced, right? Because they put in terrible spawn system and plenty of uh, high-profile camping spots that are hard to get people out of. Movement of speed and speed of players, they balance that. So uh, you can bump into your teammates every time you spawn because you always spawn next to each other. So that helps out the spoon uh, movement, which is awesome. Uh, making uh, extreme conditioning completely uh, useless and nerfed. Awesome. Uh, balancing out the perks, obviously, because Assassin makes you immune to pretty much everything. And uh, Blind Eye, you can also have on top of Assassin. You can have them both. Um, so that's a lot of balance right there. Um, don't know what balancing book they're using. Obviously, it's uh, the one in created by Infinity Ward. Because uh, this does not apply to anyone else's brain. Alright, well, what about David Von Der Haar? There's gotta be some dirt on him too, right? I mean, you got plenty of Robert Bowling, right? So there's gotta be something about David Von Der Haar. Um, yeah, uh, this is it. Play it back. Can you talk about, um, your weapon of choice and why you use it? Man, so once again, asking a designer what his favorite map is and what his favorite weapon is is really tough, right? Um, you know, I particularly have some loyalty to the FAMAS inside this game, but also the MP5K. So those those two are the ones I'm working with a lot right now. Uh, yep, Dave Vondahar said that he used the FAMAS a lot. A lot of people did. It was uh, the most OP gun in, in that game. Uh, but in his defense, he also said MP5K, which was a, a good gun, not overpowered. And uh, you gain respect from that. And, I mean... Shit, this is, this is all I could find on the guy that was even, you know, slightly objectionable. And this is, you know, just kind of pushing it. I mean, a lot of people said the 74U was overpowered at the beginning and it took a while for people to realize the FAMAS was overpowered. But this guy has owned up to his uh, immortal sin of having second chance in this game. Because uh, speaking of uh, Twitter, this guy made this his uh, Twitter icon for a couple months, owning up to the fact that Second Chance should not have been in this game, and he's kind of, you know, he's 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 biting the bullet on that one. He he, he realizes that was a mistake, and he, there's a couple other things from Black Ops that he's owned up to that you know they want to fix. And this guy is active as fuck on Twitter, asking real people what they want in this game and how they can fix it, reaching out to uh, YouTubers and, you know, the the level sixes out there, you know, with little experience. He's actively listening to people. You can go ahead and follow him on Twitter. All Robert Bowling does is say how great, you know, this shit is and how he says that he fixed, they're fixing stuff, but it never actually really gets fixed. Dave Von Haar is actively seeking uh, input for the next Call of Duty game to make it great. There was Ghost, there was Second Chance, there was the FAMAS, it's really hard to uh, find anything else in Black Ops that was objectionable. The hit detection was pretty shady. Uh, but, you know, Black Ops, the, he gave us the most balanced Call of Duty so far. And the next iteration from Treyarch for the Call of Duty series uh, is, is going to be awesome. Because we have this man at the helm. And in Vondahar we trust. Because, well, first of all, anyone looks great look, uh, compared to Robert Bowling. I mean, look at this guy. How do you not fucking hate this dude? He looks like a fucking weasel. And look at David Vondahar. This fool's a boss. I mean, what? this screams boss. This guy is like him or not for what he has or has not done. He's the best hope we have right now at creating a perfect Call of Duty. But to touch on a point where they both fail, uh, both Vondahar and Bowling, is that... Um, you know, while, while Vondahar is definitely making a stride against this, um, they both don't listen to the community just quite enough. Um, because we have, uh, there's a vast, wide open resource of people begging to just listen to what we have to say. Because the gamers, the actual gamers, like the YouTube stars, and the pub stars, and the MLG players, they play this game, they know it the most. 
they're good at the game. They know what to do to make the game better. If uh, if I had you know that guy who camps only used me blade, Woody's gamer tag, Thunder, uh, my favorite uncle ever, uh, C Nanners, Hutch. If we had you know these guys in a room to you know to go over some of these points like second chance being the game. What about danger close? How should the kill streaks be and the perks? They would make it perfect. Because they play the game, they know what will and won't work. And they're just they're an open source waiting to be tapped into. That I think uh, both uh, developers uh, continuously fail at. Although Vondahar is making great strides uh, to prove me wrong here by reaching out to the community. But I think he needs to do this just a little more. Um, but he's definitely making great strides for it. Another point we're... Uh, both developers seem to continuously fail at is balancing weapons um, and uh, rebalancing weapons as well. Um, you know, they'll, they'll come out in every Call of Duty, there's going to be some overpowered guns, be that the FAMAS or the FAMAS or the FAMAS. All three versions the one from Modern Warfare 2, one from Black Ops, and the one in Modern Warfare 3 that some people call the Type 95, but fuck, it's the FAMAS. And then Kimball FMG 9s, ACR. You know, things that are completely overpowered, and when they retweak it, outside of the Akimbo Model 1887 patch, Model for 2, every time they have uh, rebalanced a weapon, it hasn't done a goddamn thing. Uh, FAMAS and Black Ops, when they uh, retooled it, it was still OP. It didn't do a damn thing, all right? And it was like, oh, it's hip spread. It was a little weird. You know, it was still overpowered. Any any uh, patch that they've done on the Akimbo FG9s, Hasn't done a damn thing. Type 95 ACR still OP as fuck. And uh, PP90 MO1. I don't see any th patches are going to be coming out to rebalance these guns. Or the shotguns. Completely underpowered. In need of a buff. And uh, Infinity Ward. And Sledgehammer. Raven. Robert Bowling. Motherfucker. They refuse to do it. And a couple things that people love to uh, give them credit for, like, well, you know, they're 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 banning boosters. I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, they're banning people for breaking the game. Um, here's a simple to: don't put tack inserts in the fucking game, and there won't be boosters. This was simple. At least uh, Treyarch and uh, Black Ops took um the uh, tack inserts out of free for all. It was a huge problem in Modern for Two. Treyarch saw this, decided no tack inserts in free for all. Modern Warfare 3 decides to make the same mistake twice, and attack inserts have no... They, they shouldn't be in the fucking game at all. They're just... It's its, it's OP, it's unfair, it's, it's just begging for people to exploit it. And other people are trying to give Infinity Ward some credit. It's like, oh, you know, they're trying to follow them in uh, Treyarch's footsteps by supporting the game. When in Black Ops did they release a patch and make the game worse? Because that's what Modern Warfare 3 and Infinity War continue to do. Whose idea was it to put lag inside of a game that already has enough lag as it is? Whose bright idea was that? And every time, oh, we're going to fix this, fix this, oh, lag gets worse, hick detection gets worse, the theater mode fucks up. Treyarch never had a problem with that. All their patches were fine and dandy, they were methodical, they were well thought out, and they fixed stuff that was broken. Infinity War continues to fail to do this. Real simple stuff. Not everything can be perfect right out of the gate with the, the technical stuff. But stop putting garbage in our game. Instead of uh, putting out these weapons without even using them and then trying to refix them later, just make them good out of the gate. Make them fair, make them balanced, make nothing overpowered. That is not a difficult task. Instead of, you know, making, you know, equipment and perks and kill streaks overpowered and trying to fix blah, 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 just don't make it crap to begin with and you'll have nothing to fix. It's very simple. Some people do not uh, understand this. I honestly do not know why. But uh, I would like if uh, I, either of these developers, I uh, don't care who, I have more faith in Treyarch, that's for damn sure. But uh, I want a Call of Duty that has no garbage in it. As simple as that. It'll be fun, fair, balanced. You'll get better reviews. You'll sell more, more people will play it, good stuff all around. Obvious winner here, Rob Bowling versus David Vondahar, is Vaughn Treyarch for the win. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.